Hi, I'm Elise Ashton. I'm really pleased I've got this chance to share my experience of the AOEC and of the Psychology of Coaching programme with you. This was the next best thing we could find to me being there in person. Um, just a little bit of context about me. I spend my life doing something I love, which is helping people get better results and have more fun doing it. Um, anything to do with how they interact, usually in big organisations. So I'm an executive coach, I'm a facilitator and designer of development programmes, and I also um, design and deliver big conferences and events. So what I thought I would do in this short video is share a little bit of my thinking about why I chose the AOEC, some of the things I gained from the Psychology of Coaching programme, and what it's meant for my practice. So first off, if I start with the why, um, when I came to the AOEC, I had been coaching in various guises for about 14 years in career development as a line manager, um, and then subsequently as I moved into consultancy in 2000. Um, and the process had led me down the route of going through assessments for coaching panels at organisations, and increasingly the message was you need to be accredited. But the second piece was I got, my, I got very interested in time to think and became qualified as a coach and consultant in that and found myself sitting there with a sense of a disparate bag of tools and bits that didn't really fit together. So I had a sense of not really being sure I knew what I was doing, why I did it, and a sense that if I could only find the perfect question, um, I could get results much more quickly. So actually, doing this programme was part of uh, my search for a programme that would be experiential, that would be something that stretched me and really helped me to build my confidence in my coaching practice. And it so turned out that uh, the advanced programme, uh, the Diploma in Executive Coaching, was on in Edinburgh that year. So in the meantime, I thought this was a really good way of testing out the AOEC, seeing whether it was a good fit for me, and also dealing with this sense of um, being clear about what I was doing and why, because I'm not a psychologist by training. Um, so those are my reasons why. And there was one other element in terms of what I chose to do on the programme. I knew that... Um, I'm very well trained at being in my head and thinking and being analytical and had this sense that um, there was more that I could tap into. And that's why I chose the Gestalt module and the Somatic Cognitive Coaching module when I did the programme. So just cutting to what it was, what's the bottom line, what did I gain from doing the programme? Um, I think firstly, it gave me a sense of confidence in uh, my ability as a coach. The fact that you learn about psychological approaches and then knit them together with practice really helped me to understand what I was doing and why and feel much more confident. So that practical application was really important to me. Um, the second thing was actually a surprise, which was that I got very clear about where I come from and what my psychological underpinnings are. And I realised why I'd had some tensions and, con and discomfort with some of the practices we used in an organisational context. And I could have just done the two short courses and left it at that. And I chose to do the full programme because I know I'm quite action orientated and experiential. And sometimes I may not take the time to reflect. So much as um, I didn't look forward to writing the reflective essay, Actually, the process of doing it caused me to really think deeply about what I was doing, how I did it, and what I was learning from the process. And actually, that's created a much longer term impact on my practice as a coach. So it's caused me to learn to reflect uh, on my learning much more actively as I go along. So what does that mean now for my practice? It means that when I walk into a client, I'm able to articulate really clearly what sits beneath my practice, how I work as a coach, and you know what I do and why. And 
the other piece is that the programme really caused me to expand the boundaries of my understanding and thinking about coaching. And as a result, now um, I have a much richer uh, set of approaches that I draw on. And I think I'm a better coach as a result of that. And there'll always be more. I can always grow and develop. But the programme certainly helped me with that. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.